हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टी आर एन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टी आर एन नाउ इन दिस पार्ट वी डिस्कस ऑन ट्रांसलेशन बिकॉज द टी आर एन ए द आर एन ए विच हेल्प इन ट्रांसलेशन प्रोसेस दैट इज टी आर एन इन दिस पार्ट वी डिस्कस ऑन ट्रांसलेशन वट इज ट्रांसलेशन द प्रोसेस इन विच एम आर एन ए कन्वर्ट इन टू प्रोटीन That is called translation. The translation process occurred in different steps. Before translation process, we have to need what are the steps we will be applied so that the translation process can be completed. The first step during the translation process is activation of amino acid. As we know that the amino acid which is there, that is inactivated. But before change this amino acid into the or mRNA to the protein, we need to activate this amino acid. This inactivated amino acid to make activity, there is need of ATP molecule as well as an enzyme that is called amino amino acid synthesis. To do this process means to activate the amino acid, there is requirement of ATP molecule and second one is an enzyme and that enzyme is amino acyl synthetase to activate the amino acid we need to atp and an enzyme amino acyl synthetase so we can say that amino acid plus atp plus an enzyme amino acyl synthetase here atp there are three phosphate molecule required but as the amino acid activated it changed into amino acid plus amp and plus enzyme Reducing of two organic phosphate molecules, it will get remains only adenosine monophosphate molecule. This is the activated amino acid, and activated amino acid is also known as an amino acid. Listen, first of all, before translation process, there is need to activate the inactivated amino acid. To activate, there is requirement of ATP molecule and enzyme. That enzyme is amino acyl synthetase. Amino acid plus ATP molecule plus enzyme, amino acyl synthetase. They change into activated amino acid by reducing of two molecule of phosphate. It remains activated amino acid is also known as amino acyl. We can say that it is activated. Amino acid. One more exception is we have read about methionine, AUG. Methionine act, uh, function dual, so like as it act as initiator port as well as methionine, but activated methionine. is known as f met f met all are known as activated amino acid or amino acid amino acid but methionine a u g same it is activated same this one like process but it is known as f met formal formyl methionine it is known as formyl methionine not amino acid all activated amino acids are known as amino acid except then we know a u g it activates same sequence but the name was given as f met first of all there is requirement to activation of amino acid the second step is this activated amino acid then transfer to the trna activated 
अमाइनो एसिड और वी कैन सी दैट अमाइनो एसाइड ओनली अमाइनो एसाइड ट्रांसफर टू टी आर एन एज वी हैव स्टडीड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टी आर एन ए टी आर एन ए इज ए सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड स्ट्रक्चर विच कंटेन थ्री लूप्स This one. This is the three, third prime. This one is fifth prime. First loop, which re, which recognizes the ribosomal binding site. This is the anti-codon. And three prime is the site where the am um, activated amino acid binding site. This is the site where the activated amino acid to bind up. so before translation first of all activate the amino acid this activated amino acid then transfer to the pRNA where at the third prime end as this third prime end in amino acid the anti codon this is anti codon this anti codon lead the mRNA it means suppose it contains cca activated amino acid Here is then the anti-codon read out the another. First of all, activate the amino acid. Second, to transfer this activated amino acid to the tRNA, and amino acid which is activated always binds at the binding site. That is third prime. Then this tRNA with the activated enzyme attached to the ribosome. Number third. attachment of tRNA to ribosomes ribosomes it means this structure is then attached to the ribosomes this is the first step it means activation of amino acid this will second one is activated And amino acid transfer to the tRNA, and then the attachment of tRNA to the ribosomes. The next fourth step: peptide bond or protein synthesis. Protein synthesis. Synthesis of protein is not only completed in one step; it may be followed by the following step. The first step is assembly of remove this one it is the not attachment of ribosome third one is protein synthesis assembly of ribosomes we know that in the cell ribosomes help uh, ribosomes are known as the protein synthesis factor and ribosomes which were discovered by george pellet George Perret in 1953. Ribosomes are contain two subunits. There are two subunit of ribosomes. Two types of ribosomes: 70s and 80s. 70s S and O sedimentation coefficient. Or step one, ribosome two type seventy s seventy s ribosome present in prokaryotic cell as well as in eukaryotic two cell organelles plastid and mitochondria. So we can say that seventy s ribosome present in prokaryotic cell as well as the cell in eukaryotic cell. Eukaryotic but two organelles. Mitochondria and plastid, or we can say that chloroplast. All prokaryotic cell contain seventy S ribosomes, but there are two cell organelles which are found in eukaryote. They are also contain seventy S ribosomes, mitochondria and plastid. And second one is eukaryotic cell. 
टू कैरेट सेल कंटेन एटी एस लाइफोस हाउ दिस सेवेंटी एस एंड एटी एस लाइफोसोम्स प्रेजेंट इन द सेल वी हैव सीन दैट दे आर टू सब यूनिट ऑफ लाइफोसोम्स सोस दिस द लाइफोसोम्स एंड देर आर टू सब यूनिट वन इज लार्ज एंड अदर वन इज समॉल the large sub unit contains three side suppose this is the large sub unit it it contain three sides which are those three sides a p and e A side. This is the side where the amino acid is found. A stands for amino acid binding. P peptide bond formation. Peptide bond formation. And E stands for exit site. Ribosome ribosome consists two subunit. One is large. Large subunit contains three side A, P, E. First of all, the amino acid which is binding to the tRNA comes here. Except then ethmet. Except then ethmet. That is methionine. P peptide bond formation and E after as the peptide bond formation exits the mRNA. Small subunit it acts as a cap-like structure. Cap-like structure. It binds with, or you can say it read out. It read out the mRNA. mRNA. Suppose this is the small subunit. It binds with the mRNA. Two subunit. One is large. Large has three sides. A, P, E. E stands for binding amino acid binding site. P stands for peptide bond formation, and is the exit site. Small subunit which read out the mRNA, and it acts as cap-like structure. The magnesium ions, thiamine magnesium ions, which present inside of the cell. The concentration of the magnesium ion in cytoplasm depends. These subunits may be remain separate or close to each other. If the magnesium ion concentration in cytoplasm increase, then both the subunits are attached in each other. Such like this one, the small subunit, and this one is the large subunit. In presence both, in presence of magnesium ions concentration in cytoplasm, this magnesium ion concentration attaches both the subunits. Suppose it it is this one, seventy s, then one plus one is. 50s large unit and 30s small unit. As it forms dimer structure, this one small subunit and large, it forms only 70s. 50s and 30s, 80s, 10s will be reduced during the overlapping. This site makes the overlapping, and this overlapping reduces the subunit. So it forms 70s. Suppose it is 80s. It contains 60 and this contains 40. Here it forms 80. 20s reduced during the overlapping. First one is during protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is not completed in single step. It may be takes in two to three steps. First step assembly of ribosome. Ribosome present in cytoplasm. Ribosomes consist two subunit, one large and other one is small. Large subunit and small subunit remain separate. 
but as they gain magnesium ion concentration they attach with each other large subunit consists three side a p e and small subunit read out the mr this is the first step during the co protein synthesize the next step is this activity amino acid to tRNA transfer to this ribosomes first step activity the tRNA then activated so he activated the amino acid then amino acid activated transfer to tRNA it stop here next process ribosome assembly assemblies of ribosomes this activity t and amino acid with tRNA attach to this ribosomes the next step is this is the second part of third attachment of tRNA with activated amino acid to ribosome this tRNA activated with an activated amino acid attached to the ribosomes and after that third step is protein synthesize protein synthesize how the protein synthesize take place suppose we have assembling of ribosomes this is the small subunit and this one is the large subunit assembly of ribosomes this ribosome small subunit read out the mrna it consists this one like this is the mrna and this mrna consists many genetic code large subunit consists three side a p and e we have seen that attachment of tRNA with activated amino acid to ribosomes it means they need to activate activated amino acid with the tRNA to come here this is the a a amino acid which is activated attached to here suppose all activated first a side is the amino acid binding site all amino acid binding site all amino acid binds first one is here except then f mate f mate that is the activated methylamine which act as initiator that always add at here note at the a side f mate we can say that a u g all enzyme all amino acid always bind the a side except then f mate because f mate perform dual function it act as methionine amino acid and second one is initiator to initiate the process it acted it binds with the t bond or p side suppose the next one is u u u x x x and y y y suppose here the genetic code sequence first of all the first amino acid except the a u g this will bind here amino acid 1 This comes here. Again, this is activated amino acid tRNA transfer to the mRNA. Oh, sorry, ribosomes. Ribosomes two subunit one read out the mRNA small subunit and the large subunit consists three side A side, P side, E side. E the exit. Mostly two works. A the side where all the amino acid will attach. Except then one P is the side where F will attach. because it is the initiator it activate the process here 
the next same year we know that there are more than 60 types of pRNA which acts to bind the activated amino acid second pRNA is bind here aa2 means amino acid next amino acid 1 this contain amino acid 2 again same here amino acid 3 the sequence remain same no individually activated amino acid binds here this activated amino acid comes with the prna as the first read first code read out because due to the initiator initiator then a u becomes because so this is the mrna and ribosomes here ribosomes not over sleep slide here if this slide process can take place then the overlay is living process may be occur ribosomes bind the mrna here and then again let's it start to transfer this one line no slide because if the sliding process can take place due to the overlapping doesn't they got difference result will be comes out ribosomes read out the mrna code then left and moves the next then the next see here as this code read out the next step is press location of the ribosomes press location of the fourth step press location of ribosome it means this is the first step after this press location small subunit large subunit this is the a p and e m r n the f made is firstly attached with the p side as the ribosome moves forward this prna is released which is attached with f made it forms a peptide bond it comes here e side the amino acid first which attached to the amino acid side it moves to here it means the second one comes here a a 2 this is the a a 1 and the next this is the a a 2 this one is next we pair a A A three. Firstly, as it binds P side, we have all except the F mate. No other amino acid binds. Firstly, here all amino acid binds A side. But F mate that acts as initiator, it remains here. Suppose this is the F mate. First amino acid and next is the amino acid. As the ribosome translocate, this way transfer. This F mate comes at the E side, and A side amino acid comes at the P, and new amino acid comes at the A side. As it reaches to the E side, PRNA is released. It again goes into the next step, and A A two comes at the P side, which was firstly at S A side, and the new amino acid that has a the a side so here is the sequence may form a a1 a a2 then a a3 this bond is formed as a peptide bond formation and a new sequence is formed out suppose a a1 attached to a a2 and attached to a a3 continuously till the the process may not be stopped how this process can be stopped suppose the next code is a u sorry a u a g u a g and we know that out of 64 code three code which doesn't represent any 
a minus eight. So the card is stop codon. U is is a stop codon. Add this U A G. Then locate means first read out, second read out, third read out. As U A G comes at the A side because ribosome moves. Then A U G comes at the A side. A U G is stop codon. The process of translation stop. And a new sequence of amino acid means protein translation can take place. Protein synthesis can take place. Clear? This is the translation process in the uh, translation process during the mRNA to protein. First of all, during the translation process, the first step is activate the amino acid because in cytoplasm amino acid no uh, nucleus plasm amino acid is not activated. To activate this, we require ATP and one enzyme, amino acid synthetase. All activated amino acids are known as amino acid, except then methionine. Methionine is known as F met. For my methionine. Second one is activated amino acid then transfer to pRNA because the pRNA binding site, amino acid binding site. This attached. And third one is protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is not completed single step. It may be processed into two, two, two to three steps. First, assembly of ribosomes, assembly. Then, the tRNA is activated, mRNA, tRNA is activated, amino acid plus to the ribosome. Such this one. Small cell read out the mRNA code and large cell to this three side A, E, E. All activated amino acid. Bind first side A except then F met because F met at the as a initiator, so that is added to the P side. Then next one is trash location of the ribosomes. We know that ribosomes move after reading the mRNA, not sliding process, it moves here this one line. And so it as it transport, as it translocate. The first amino acid which binds the A comes at P and P is F met comes at the E. E stands for exit. As the F met reaches the exit, tRNA is released and amino acid formed. So this M ribosomes moves or translocate from one to another till then the stop codon is not reached there. As the ribosome gains stop codon, the process of translation stop and the translation, translation process during the formation of protein and synthesis. This synthesis of protein can take place inside the nucleus. If the nucleus contain, so we can say that in eukaryotic cell, because nucleus membrane always found in eukaryote. Then this transfer this protein into the cytoplasm, we will discuss later gene regulation because this offered only nucleus. This protein then transferred to the cytoplasm. During cytoplasm transfer, protein from nucleus to cytoplasm, there are some mishappening can be take place. Some variation can take place to control the gene. The next part we will discuss on how we control the gene.